Hello everybody and welcome for a look at the interior of this Ascom Bullet 52 from 1985 to give you an idea of her layout, what's on board, where things are located etc and to hopefully get you to know what it's like to be on this boat before you arrive. So as you can see we've got something a little bit special for you here. So um, before I go through we, uh, we've got this, this uh, lovely French window set up here so nice and easy to get in and out, no doors flapping in the wind etc and nice and easy to uh, seal the wind out which is lovely and as you can see that brings us straight into the main saloon and if you just look around you can see we've got a lovely head height here probably uh, six foot plus, we've got windows port and starboard nice and high so lots of light flooding in and also we can open some of those to allow air through too, we've got blinds all around as well so you've got privacy if you want it and as you can see if we just look out we've got a fantastic commanding view over our neighbours and over the marina in general really really lovely feeling very special now uh, if you're looking down we can see we're carpeted throughout in this area we've got a, a wood burner uh, by the looks of it, to be confirmed on the uh, the port aft corner here, we've got a TV in the corner here, and uh, all around the boat you'll see that we've got nice shelving. We've, these ones are fiddled too for your bits and pieces, and also around the boat you'll also notice that we've got uh, really nice feature radiators. They're painted grey, so feeling contemporary yet classic and vintage at the same time. I don't think I need to try and explain it to get it across to you. I think you can probably feel it just by looking yourself. Now we've got freestanding rattan furniture, which uh, actually goes very well in here so really good choice and uh, in this uh, far corner here which is the uh, the starboard aft corner we've got the uh, a, a nice corner unit for radios etc etc very nice indeed so moving forward which is nice and easy because we've got a really nice wide area here very nice size saloon we get to the galley area which is u-shaped and before i enter let's take a look from uh, the stern part of it so you can see we've got a u-shaped area here and uh, we've got lots of lovely work surface we've got something to hang on to here We've got something to hang on to here. Nice work area, chopping area here, etc. Room for cupboards, room for your cruet, all that kind of stuff. And all feeling like a, almost like a normal kitchen at home. I don't think there are any real uh, compromises here. Plenty of room to work inside too. And you'll see here we've got a, a big fridge here, a nice washing machine, which we don't see that often in Brighton Marina, inset there too. So we can do everything from the boat, hopefully. And uh, if we just look around the compartment, you can see that we've got a double sink unit. So uh, with uh, it looks like we've got a shower head attached to it as well. So while we're washing up, we have this view, which uh, I'm sure a lot of people would die for. Uh, more work surface there a nice uh, cooker underneath here i think i can get it with one finger so we've got uh, three burners underneath there which is great we have a microwave we have all sorts of bits and pieces we have cupboards under up, up above us too really huge head height here as well as the deck above goes up a step towards the flying bridge and then just turning around to the port area you can see that we've got uh, a nice oven set up there at waist stroke uh, chest or head height there so really really nice and if i stand in the kitchen we're looking to port now now there's a view out of the port side we can see our neighbors we can possibly see the sea if we're out at sea uh, lots of room to get in and out of the galley and if we look to the stern you can see there the french windows uh, through to the after deck and uh, what a lovely lovely area this is windows head height room wood looking absolutely lovely and if I look down as well, we can also see the, the deck in this area has been, uh, I think this is uh, Flexi Teak or something similar. Looks great and uh, matches in with the with the decor. But let's go forward where you'll find another nice area. We've got a nice uh, carpeted area going forward. Uh, we've got a companionway going up here, something to hold on to as well, always vital on a boat. And we find ourselves through this little uh, corridor here. To the left, we've got a door out onto the upper deck. Very handy if you want to go out there to do your road work. And if I just look up, we can see we've got windows all the way around this compartment, well, port and starboard and forward. That gives us our view for the helm, for steering, for keeping the lookout of sea, Colreg 5 and all that. And uh, in this compartment, you can just see now, if I give you an idea, what a lovely space it is. Loads of room up here. We're even higher than down below. We've got all those windows. We've got uh, what looks like a mirror on the back bulkhead. We've got all these uh, contemporary finishes here, which really make it look lovely. We've got nice upholstery, nice carpet, and just look how much actual seating we've got here. We could seat probably uh, 10 people around here, I should think, to uh, eat and drink. Nice uh, saloon table in the middle there. I expect there's some uh, storage underneath here, but uh, that would have to be confirmed. But just look what a lovely space it is. You could pretty much do anything in here, and I think the current owners use her as office space in this area, and who wouldn't? Um, based on the uh, the view and the feeling within this space as well so 
The space is also given over to being a practical space. It's here for a reason. It's here to helm the boat. We do have a flying bridge upstairs. But um, while we're here, let's look at the lower bridge or the lower helm. You can see we have a freestanding, actually, I thought it was a freestanding seat. It's not. It's fixed down there. So we can sit in comfort in this uh, vintage chair. Lovely, a uh, uh, nice wheel set up here. Very nice shape. And uh, we have got a smattering of nav, nav instruments that they, I think they do need installing, though, and a compass that needs to be fixed down. But we've got our main controls here. We've got uh, the electric panel. Uh, looks like the engine starts, stops there. Looks like we have the uh, engine coolant. Uh, and engine oil pressure there so uh, everything you need for the engines from up here and the throttles and uh, I think we have bow and sterns for us to control there so uh, really great and of course you've got this great big shelf if you wanted you could really fit this out with a, a massive great big modern nav fit out and uh, make it your own but if you just want to uh, uh, make this boat your accommodation then look what you've got and there's hello you can see me in the mirror how are you? How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day. Anyway, let's uh, move forward from here. Now, uh, before we go downstairs, we can just look at the companion way. Now, this is going to take us down to the accommodation. Lovely, great big uh, handhold here, a uh, nice handhold here, and a banister to prevent us falling down there from up here too. Um, really, really quaint. And then as we go down the stairs, we go around a corner, and there's another handhold here. Really, really useful. Love the flag locker there. Absolutely like to see these vintage features abound. We have a cupboard here, which is given over to uh, hanging life jackets and stuff. So your uh, your hanging locker, another cupboard here, inset into the bulkhead. And if, as we go down below, a little bit of a swing under that we need to be wary of. And uh, we've got another handhold here. So there's always something to hang on to down here. And although we do need to be mindful that we do have these stairs that come down, they're not particularly steep. They do go around a corner, but we just need to, uh, we do have to sort of uh, camp backwards slightly just to uh, come under this area here. So uh, those with uh, uh, limited mobility might want to think about that. But uh, generally speaking, pretty good. Now that's the view from the bottom of the companionway looking forwards. Uh, what we'll do is we'll work our way towards there by firstly turning to starboard here through this door. What have we got? We've got a nice Pullman uh, style cabin so this would be cabin number three so we've got an upper bed a lower bed we've got an opening window there as well for ventilation and we have a nice big locker on the forward bulkhead there a shelf in the corner there too and it looks like we have some storage beneath the beds as well and a radiator very nice loads of radiators on this boat nice to see it, it is nice and warm even though it is sunny outside but it's still very cold on the port side here at the bottom of the companionway we have got the bathroom so there we go so a decent sized compartment it's a step into and a step up to the uh, to the white throne there but uh, we have the toilet or the head and again we have uh, it looks like it's been uh, contemporary really finished out again a mirror on the ceiling we've got an opening window we've got a cupboard at the back and uh, I do like the sink there as well on the on the, uh, the tiled work surface just gives it that, that nice modern ring and uh, well actually I do like as well you can see the the, the side of the boat there so uh, always a little reminders here and there that we're actually on a boat not in a, a flat or a house etc because uh, sometimes you do feel like uh, that's where you are and uh, here we have uh, in the uh, in the lobby going to the forward cabin we've got a nice tall radiator there and if, before we go into the forward cabin let's just look in here so we've got a nice big hanging locker there floor to ceiling and i'll just turn around again and, and allow you the view forward into that cabin there we go very nice we have a hatch above us letting light in we have ports portholes port and starboard letting light in as well uh, and they should all open so lots of ventilation and as you can see we've got uh, what would be with this uh, with this section laid in and the cushion laid in as well we have an absolutely massive double bed there but uh, without then we've got uh, two single beds and even then they're quite well they're very long and quite wide as well so uh, looking like a great accommodation possibly good for the kids if you're uh, a single parent or even a family um, you could squeeze two kids in here over the weekend or longer um, and I think uh, they would still have enough room uh, to uh, not fall out too much and of course you've got the other cabin as well so if you're living here then uh, or staying on here a bit longer term then you've got the possibility to separate the kids completely there's a view on the port side and again we, we're feeling like we're in the boat because we've got the the bow flow there we've got an opening window we've got storage we have a shelf and uh, pretty much the same on the starboard by the looks of it too all really good now i'm standing as far forward as i can in the accommodation looking aft there we go so there's the uh there's the lobby through to the corridor through to the aft cabin which is one of the ps de resistance of, the, of this boat so let's take a walk through and see what we can see 
Right, so here we go. So it's a step down and then a, a small step back up. I'll just put the lights on for you. Here we go. And as you can see, we have a lovely aft cabin. So uh, pretty much, well, it is full width. A lot of the, the width is taken up with the uh, the width of the uh, the cupboards and drawers, etc. But that does give you lots of storage. You can see the TV there in the corner. Lots of storage, shelf above, etc. Nice lock, uh, locker on the uh, port aft side there. And uh, the bed's really nice and easy to get around. No struggling around like we see on most boats. It's an island bed, a true island bed. So we can walk around the bed, climb in, port or starboard. And in we go, no worries. Nice headboard. And again, the nice contemporary finish, but still with the Vintage touches, really, really like it. We've got plenty of wood in here too. Plenty of uh, room over on the starboard side there around the bed, looking good. And then you might be surprised to find that we have the ensuite. So there we go. So because that's not closed off, that just gives us plenty of room in that corner. So let's go and take a quick look at that. So I'll just start hop around the corner of the bed. There we go. And uh, in this compartment, you'll see that we have a lovely bath on the forward bulkhead. Nice tiles, bit of a mismatched view of me there as well we have a shower fitted too nice contemporary sink and we have an, a toilet all the heads in the starboard aft corner and again as with this boat storage everywhere on the outboard side of the starboard side of this uh, cabin or this compartment or this heads compartment you can see that we've got uh, a nice set of cupboards etc etc so very nice indeed and you can see the tiled flooring there as well i can't tell if that's uh vinyl or tiles but uh, time will tell and i'll just move back here to give us an idea of the view of this bedroom or cabin from here and there we go how happy might you be here nice double bed good head height proper room around the bed as well you've got your own effective ensuite kids can go in separate cabins uh, Bob's your uncle and I think you'd be uh, well away down here no worries at all so I'll go back upstairs and we'll go back up the companionway which is nice and easy and uh, I'll finish off by saying that this has been Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers just taking you for a quick look well a detailed look really around the interior of this Ascom Bullet 52 from 1985 hope you've enjoyed the tour it's been great to have you along and uh, if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching have a great day